Hi guys, Brad Heath here with Double D Trailers. Hey, hope you're having a great day. So today we're talking about bumper pull horse trailers with living quarters, okay? And my one of our staff writers just posted this article and to navigate to that, you just go to our blog, okay? And it's the very top article. You could also go to the resources page and click on articles and bumper pull and it's the first one on the list. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through the article. You guys can certainly read that on your own. But uh, we've been preaching for years the dangers of bumper pull horse trailers with living quarters, particularly two horse and higher. And as you go through the article, it will detail uh, not our opinion, but rather actual facts as to why those uh, types of designs are they're just simply unsafe from uh, folks not recognizing what uh, tongue weight is on their tow vehicle to problems with uh, sales folks. We've got some really cool stories uh, to read about that. And uh, yeah, vari variabilities in weight. So in simple terms, if we were to look at that, let's just do, so some folks will say, well, hey, why don't you just slide the axles farther forward to lighten that tongue load? And if this is our imaginary trailer, well, normally the axles are toward the back. And most of the bumper pulls with living quarters and a two horse and up, they're going to be designed in a slant configuration. So you're going to have one drop down window along in here and then another you know, drop down window just in front of the axle. And if this is a living quarter trailer, you know, all of this is going to be finished with cabinetry and things of that nature and the tongue on the front. Apologies for my Mickey Mouse drawing. But this would be the vertical tongue weight and it would be extremely heavy. Uh, most half ton vehicles, an SUV for example, a Chevy Tahoe 2022 model, they max out at about 800 pounds of tongue weight. Just in two horse bumper pull, uh, and here's a good, good illustration of that axle placement here. You'll notice it's at the back of the trailer, there's not much space. And then you've got a drop down, looks like the first one's kind of over the first tire and then the next one is farther forward. Now these axles are positioned to be uh, foolproof, meaning if you haul one horse in the back stall, you're not going to end up with the too much weight on the back end of the trailer, which would result in negative tongue weight, okay? And the weight on this trailer as it sits, it's about 800 pounds. So a two horse bumper pull, uh, with the dressing room unfinished, no living quarters, it's about max out for a Chevy Tahoe of what type of load you would want to uh, pull behind that and be adequately rated. And if you jump up to a half ton truck, um, you know most of those are in the 12 or 1300 pound range on the tongue weight. So as you go through the article, you'll notice tongue weights uh, in excess of 15, some 1700 pounds, which sort of defeats the purpose in trying to use a bumper pull so you could tow with an SUV or a half ton truck. So a gooseneck should absolutely uh, be used in those situations. Now back to our drawing, so if we wanted to do our uh, imaginary trailer again, let's see if I can get this line straight, straight enough, and if we move the axles, let's just say move them farther forward, okay? And now we have one horse's drop down window here, drop down window here. So uh, let's assume that you're only hauling one horse and he's in the front stall. Um, but the divider comes open or the horse panics and is able to get loose and go to the back of the trailer. Well, all of a sudden you end up with, you know, axles here, a horse in the back, and you're going to have negative tongue weight. Now to further demonstrate this, I found a, a video which does a great job. Let's just enlarge this. So this is what a, a back, a rear loaded too heavy results in. Trailer will swing, it will put you in the ditch. And in this demonstration, the guy has a weight here and another weight there. Let's just keep this rolling. 
So if he moves the weight to the back, AKA a horse walking to the back of your trailer, that's what it, that's exactly what could happen. So moving those axles forward should never be, um, should never be an option for a manufacturer. You're really just playing with fire and waiting for, you know, something to happen there. Uh, we corrected and sort of solved all the issues associated with bumper pull living quarters. And the way that we did that, uh, if you go to our models, slant load, and right here, the Safe Tack one horse bumper pull with living quarters. So you could click on that. Let's look at the floor plan. And I'm going to enlarge this a little bit more. Like so. Now, uh, with this design, you say, well, why does this work and a two horse does it? But well, it's very simple. When you close the partition, this right here, I know what a horse will weigh in this space. I know he can't move to the back because there's a re you know there's a rear saddle compartment there once the doors are closed. So there's nowhere that this guy can go. He or she will be in this stall from point A to point B. He can't go forwards, he can't go backwards. So we eliminate the variability of the weight moving back and forth. Now, we also know what this area weighs and we can position the axles accordingly so that uh, regardless of, you know, you're only gonna haul one horse ever and he or she will be positioned over these axles to create uh, this particular model has about a 600 pound tongue weight, which is awesome because that's really in the sweet spot that you could hook up with a Chevy Tahoe, for example, full size SUV and be under the maximum, well under the maximum uh, tongue weight rating for the vehicle and thus your load is safe. Now, if you're wanting to make this a two horse, you're back in the same dilemma. Uh, you put one horse in the back stall, or if you put the axles where they should go, so that if you are hauling only one horse, your tongue weight is going to be excessive. And you will not be able to tow with a, a half ton vehicle. You'll certainly need a three quarter, if not a one ton. Some of those things in an eight foot wide three horse with a large living quarters, we've seen tongue weights close to 2,000 pounds on those, okay? So that's it on bumper pull horse trailers with living quarters. Anything in a one horse, uh, such as the design is, as this, would be safe. In a two horse or higher, that should be in a gooseneck. One of those models. So. Thanks for your time. Check us out online, www.doubledtrailers.com.